Well, the hops are all ready for harvest. These, of course, are a cascade. And over here are the Chinook. Not bad for the first year. Not bad at all. In the garage here now. Hops are drying on these old door screens. Looking good. And then of course the hops are vacuum sealed in one and two ounce packs and chucked into the freezer. So another brew day today. This time it is a homegrown hop pale ale using cascades that I grew. Doing a partial mash, light dry malt extract, aromatic Munich malt, some carapils, and just a touch of roasted barley for some added color. Wow, it's a buck. Here we go. Our very first homegrown hop ale. On this, I used my basic house pale ale recipe and cascade hops grown right in my backyard. This has only been in the bottle about three weeks, roughly. 
so I'm not sure how clear it's going to be. Uh, and I haven't tasted it yet other than at bottling. And I have no idea what it's going to taste like now. So let's give it a shot. Doesn't look too awful bad. It's not completely clear. It's not terribly cloudy either. Actually, actually it's pretty clear. So I don't want to waste a lot of time on this. I'm going to go in for a quick sniff. It smells clean. can smell uh, the malt. On this one I used uh, dry malt extract light as the base. Uh, and then I used uh, some aromatic Munich, some carapils, and a small amount of roasted barley for some added color. Fermented with Safel USO5. It's holding a nice little head there. All right, I'm going to go in for a taste. It's got a decent level of bitterness. Boy, I can really taste the malt. It's clean. It's not terribly hoppy, but it's it's plenty bitter. I used a total of four ounces. One ounce at 60 minutes, one ounce at 15, and then two ounces at flame out. This was a partial mash. I don't know if I mentioned that before. It started at 10.50 and ended at 10.13. The alcohol is 4.9%. Well, that was a mistake. I was reading the printout from the brewing software instead of what I wrote in my journal. So the OG was 10.46, final gravity 10.11, with 4.6% alcohol. I really like this. It's clean. Like I said, This is nice. I'm really happy with this. As for the hop present, again, it's 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 got a good level of bitterness, but not a lot else going on. Uh, maybe some fruit notes, but the main thing that I really was worried about with this was is it going to be clean? I just wanted a clean tasting beer. I did not want the hops to have a negative effect like uh, give off grassy flavors or something. But the fact that they're not having any negative impact at all means this is a success. Oh, some decent lacing coming down the glass there. Yeah, the bitterness is balancing the, the sweetness quite nicely. Yeah, very good. Well, since this turned out so well, chances are you'll see this pop up in a future video where I might be drinking it and 
and I'll talk more about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there they go. All right, I can't look. I can't look. Bye. All right, bye. I, I can't look. All right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. So until next time, happy homebrewing. Cheers.